Major depressive disorder, otherwise known as MDD, is characterized by a pervasive and persistent low mood, a loss of interest or pleasure in normally enjoyable activities, changes in weight and healthy sleep patterns, and thoughts of suicide. The condition is a leading cause of disability and according to the World Health Organization, is the fourth leading contributor to global burden of disease. Tonight we honor Magid Abu Garbia, Terence Andre, G.E. Morris Husbands, Eric A. Muth, and John Yardley from Pfizer, whose determination has led to developing Effexor, a novel treatment for treating major depressive disorder, MDD. Venlafaxine, commercialized by Pfizer under the brand name Effexor, is indicated to treat MDD and was the first available in the class of serotonin norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors. Prior to the discovery of Effexor, the standard of care for MDD treatment included a class of selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, SSRIs, that, although effective, have certain features which may present drawbacks for some patients. The Pfizer team recognized the limitations of available antidepressants and began their search for a molecule that was bioavailable and had beneficial clinical activity, potency, and selectivity. Several SSRI side effects included lethargy, dizziness, and weight changes. By adding norepinephrine reuptake inhibition to serotonin reuptake inhibition, the team sought an antidepressant that could potentially address at least some of these characteristics. Effexor is a prime example of how innovative chemistry can produce significant clinical success by meeting the needs of millions of patients and healthcare professionals. Following its discovery, through a multi-year process involving hundreds of other colleagues, Effexor became the first approved medicine in this new class. The Pfizer team's exploration of this relatively unproven area represents the type of innovation required to continue advancing modern-day medicine. As is the case for all approved antidepressants, Effexor carries an increased risk, compared to placebo, of suicidal thinking and behavior, suicidality, in children, adolescents, and young adults. Patients of all ages who are started on antidepressant therapy should be monitored appropriately and observed closely for clinical worsening, suicidality, or unusual changes in behavior. Effexor XR is not approved for use in pediatric patients. Treatment with Effexor was associated with a dose-dependent increase in the risk for sustained hypertension. The most common side effect of Effexor in clinical studies was nausea. Please visit www.effexorxr.com to learn more about Effexor XR, including potential side effects and important safety information. The American Chemical Society honors these heroes of chemistry from Pfizer for their outstanding contributions to science and their service to society. <laughs>